Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be showing you the techniques I use to create realistic white fur using Prismacolor Premier pencils. If you struggle with the layering process and choosing the correct colors then I highly suggest you stick around and watch this video. Let's get started. Using a medium to light pressure, I use a nail dotting tool to create fine lines. This can help with creating white flyaway fur you may see in darker areas. It can also help with creating a more realistic look. And then after that, I put down white to keep areas a little lighter for when you start layering colors on top. Then using a light touch and going in the fur direction, I'll be layering warm gray 10% all over and cool gray 10% for the base layers. I try to put the cool gray in the darker fur patches only. At this point, you should be able to see your flyaway fur and see where you've put down your white pencil. Once the base is done, I'm going in with warm gray 20% to start blocking in my darker areas using a shading technique and also adding in fur details. After blocking in where I want the dark areas to be, I go in with cloud blue to add in cool tones that you can see in the reference photo. Then I go over it all with white to blend the lines out a little and make sure the white patches stay white. I'm now going in with warm gray 30% that I now realize isn't on my color swatch list to add a little more depth in the fur and create a more realistic look. Before adding more details, I went over with a light touch using warm gray 10% and cloud blue to blend the colors together. To add in more fur details and to lighten up any areas I think I went too dark on, I pulled out my cutting knife and lightly using the tip of the knife went over those areas. With white fur, you can be creative and try new techniques, but be very careful using the knife, you don't want to damage the paper. I then went over the new fur lines with white to help show the new fur strokes added in with the cutting knife. To further help show the new fur strokes, I go in with warm gray 50% and carefully go around the fur lines that you should see from the dotting tool and from the knife. At this point, I noticed I needed to go a little darker in some areas, so I added cool gray 90%, but I didn't use a hard pressure and used the flick motion to create more fine fur details. I hope this video helped you a little more with drawing realistic white fur. Don't be afraid to try different techniques and be creative when drawing white fur. With white fur, you can add in many colors depending on your reference photo, since white fur reflects the colors that is in the background. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and bell to be notified of my next video. Also, please let me know what colors you like to see next or if you'd like a full-time video on drawing fur. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up down below. See you in the next video!